Good morning to you. It's Thursday. We continue with uh, Paul's speech here, talking about how God has dealt with Israel. So from verse 27 of Acts 13, For those who live in Jerusalem and their rulers, recognizing neither him nor the utterance of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath, fulfilled these by condemning him. And though they found no ground for putting him to death, they asked Pilate that he be executed. When they had carried out all that was written concerning him, they took him down from the cross and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, the very ones who are now his witnesses to the people. So Paul here is talking, of course, about Jesus and telling them how uh, his life fulfilled everything that is written in the prophets, the prophets, those same prophets who are read in the synagogues uh, uh, every Sabbath day and he says you rejected him and the people rejected him but it was to fulfill the scriptures he was crucified he was dead he was buried and they laid him in a tomb but God raised him from the dead we often jump over that little bit middle bit we know that Jesus died and we know that he rose again but we jump over the middle bit where they laid him in the tomb it's very important it's a very important fact Jesus was laid in a tomb and the Holy Spirit on Easter morning raised him from the dead. And the Bible tells us that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will raise us up from the dead. One day we too will die and they'll lay us in a tomb. But if we die believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, we know the day is coming when the trumpet will sound, the dead in Christ will rise first we will rise up to new life. That same Holy Spirit that brought Jesus out of the grave is going to bring us out of the grave. You see, that's why it's so important not to jump over this fact. Jesus was the first one to die, lie in a tomb and be raised up again to eternal life. And the same is going to happen for us when we believe on Him. So this is a detail that we should not skip over. It gives us great hope. We know that the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, the Holy Spirit will one day too raise us from the dead. What a wonderful thought that is to begin the day, to know that if we died today and they lay us in a tomb, one day that trumpet is going to sound, we're going to rise up to a new life, and we will not die anymore. We'll be together with Him forever. And so um, let's not skimp over that detail. Let's always remember Jesus died, He was buried, He rose again, He lives forevermore. And we're going to go through that very same process. And then Paul goes on to say, he appeared to those who came with him. He appeared to the disciples and many, many others. Uh, and they are now his witnesses. And that's our job too, to be his witnesses. Uh, and witnesses of the fact that those who die in Jesus will live with him forevermore in eternity. Lord God, Heavenly Father, what a wonderful, wonderful way to start the day. Reflecting upon your word, realizing Jesus, what you did for us. You died. You laid it out in your life. You shed your blood to pay our sin debt in full. They took you down from the cross. They laid you in a tomb. And on the third day, the Holy Spirit raised you up to new life. Hallelujah. And you will die forevermore. And the same is going to happen to us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that the grave will not be able to hold us. We thank you that the day the trumpet sounds, the dead in Christ will rise first. Hallelujah. We look forward to that day. And we pray, come, Lord Jesus. We pray, hasten that day. We pray that many, many souls, Lord, that don't know and understand this, yet would understand it today. Heavenly Father, would you use us to be your witnesses as you use the disciples. Use us to bring this message to the lost. Heavenly Father, we lift up before you this world which is dying, this world which is groaning and waiting for your return. We see again the prophecies being fulfilled not only in the life of Jesus, but prophecies being fulfilled before our very eyes. Everything in the Bible is said was going to happen in the last days is happening. There's wars and rumors of wars. There's earthquakes. There's famines. There's there's all sorts of things going on all around the world. We pray for the Ukraine as we have been for so long for an end to that conflict. We also pray for peace in Jerusalem. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering in this conflict between um, Israel and Palestine. We pray, Lord, have mercy. Many, many innocent lives are being lost on both sides. And we pray, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on those who persecute your children, Lord. They don't know what they're doing. We pray for those who are persecuted. We pray for those who just don't understand. Heavenly Father, would you give them understanding? We pray for the lost. We lift up before you the sick, the dying, and all who are in need. We thank you, Lord, for our 
country. We pray, Lord, for our leaders. We pray that you give them wisdom and help them to navigate through these times of real challenging times, times when many questions are being raised again. May we always fall on the right side of history. Heavenly Father, the right side is your side, following your word and believing in your word and doing what your word says. Your word is truth. We believe everything in your word and we know that your word that goes forth from your mouth shall never return to you empty. So we ask your blessing over this day, Lord. We praise you, bless you, worship you, honour you. I pray for all who listen to these messages that you would strengthen them, Lord. Strengthen those who are walking with you and those who are stumbling, Lord. Would you raise them up? Heavenly Father, we thank you once again that we look forward to the glorious resurrection and eternal life together with you in heaven forever. And hear us now as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.